everyone, so today we are doing a very exciting video. It is officially December. Strip me of my personality and fill me with holiday cheer. And this was a video concept that I've seen people do before. I'm definitely not the first person to collect all of these Barbies. So if you ever wanna watch real Barbie collectors do these types of videos, they're out there. But the holiday Barbie now has been going on since 1988. They can be thousands of dollars. None of the ones I bought were thousands of dollars. So yeah, I have every single holiday Barbie in this room. They're all looking at me. We're gonna dive into each one. I have a few fun facts and we're also gonna judge them because honestly, some of them aren't that amazing. <gasps> Let's get into it. Here we have the first holiday Barbie. Now, actually back then they used to call it the Happy Holidays Barbie. So this Barbie, as you can probably tell, has big hair, big dress, big smile, an oversized bow in her hair. And apparently this was supposed to symbolize <laughs> <laughs> me just breaking a collectible piece. By the way, there is a break in this plastic. That was not me. I bought it like that. This Barbie apparently raised the bar on the holiday Barbies and it was all setting the tone of what the holiday Barbies were gonna become by being grand. This Barbie is classic holidays. I think it was really smart for them to start with the red sparkly dress. I really like how the hair all flies out. You'll see in the 80s and 90s that was really popular and then going into the 2000s it was more sleek hair. So you can almost see what was trendy at that time with the big bows and everything. And she has blue mascara on, which I thought was interesting. What are the winners in my opinion? And what are the non-winners? 1988 was a really good year, but I feel like my own personal preferences of not enjoying red this much is putting it here. So this is a lot of Barbies. How did I pay for this? You may be asking. Well, you watching the videos helped me, but also the sponsor of this video helped a lot. What if I told you you could shop for this holiday season at a fraction of the price while also being more sustainable for the world? Well, I have some exciting news for you. Thanks to ThreadUp and Afterpay, you can do exactly that. For those of you who may not know, ThreadUp is an online consignment and thrift store where you can shop affordable, high quality, sustainable pieces. And with Afterpay, Pay, you can split your purchase into four easy payments, making checkout a breeze. This can be very helpful because we all know the holidays can get pretty expensive. But this payment in four option is not exclusive to the holiday season. You can also use it in your everyday shopping. I've already done some thread up Christmas shopping and one of the pieces was this shirt for my mom. It's a light knit turtleneck, but the reason for it, ever since we got our color analysis, she has been buying a bunch of clothes in her color palette. And would you looky here, a perfect match. Also, your probably interested to know the estimated retail on this was a hundred and two dollars these are ritzia prices people but i got it on thread up for 16. anyways enough about you mom i always see people wearing sweater vests and i love sweater vests but I don't know how to style them, but this is my attempt. This skirt is originally from Lulu's. SMA retail is $48. I paid $12.75. Next look. All right, this sweater also was originally from Aritzia. If you guys really like shopping a certain brand, definitely when you go on ThreadUp, search that brand in the search handle and it will just show you everything there is from that brand. Kind of trying to recreate outfits that I see on Pinterest and ThreadUp is a very affordable way to do that and try out different looks. If you wanna see the items I bought and other ones that I have my eye on, make sure to shop my picks using my link. Over there, you'll be able to shop these items and similar ones so you can be inspired for this holiday shopping season. Also, in exciting news, ThreadUp is having their biggest holiday sale ever. New customers can get 40% off their entire first order and also get $15 if you pay with Afterpay for the first time. Just be sure to use code CHEER at checkout. So now you can go get your hands on some festive looks and holiday gifts. Back to the video. Please welcome to the stage, Barbie 1989. Now this was kind of a fun year because they have a ornament in here. Now this is definitely a winter wonderland Barbie in my opinion. I love the white dress and lots of faux fur around the base and also on the shoulders there. Still definitely playing into the red and white holiday theme. I mean, does it get much better than that? Hey, I feel like they started so strong. 
Welcome to the 1990s. Now you'll notice this is a not typical holiday color. This is a fuchsia pink. This was apparently the color of the year in the 90s with the research me and my mom are doing. We have been doing Barbie research for like three days straight. I'll link all of the sources down below because it might not be 100% right, but apparently this was the color of the year. So they thought, let's do the Barbie in that color. Honestly, this look might be one of my favorites. It's more of a bodycon, but then it has these really wide shoulders and then a really poofy dress and again, the hair is flying all over the place. We have a shimmering keepsake ornament for you. 1991 Barbie. Again, a massively fun blowout here. This is a really fun, fun, fun dress. It's a dark velvet green. Then it's got these gemstones down the front and again, a big bow. And we're actually playing with green mascara now. It's so funny because even on the back here, it says like instructions on how to open it. And I want nothing more than to rip into every single Barbie. I know Barbie collectors would absolutely hate me, so I won't, but I'm tempted. That's an A. 1991 was great. 1992 was a good year for dresses. This dress is honestly everything that I aspire to have in a dress. It's got the poofy sleeves. It has beads with hollow sequins hanging off for no reason. It's got white tulle with holographic, almost like sprinkles embedded in it. And the background's even hollow. This is a really, really fun one. 1992, you mean holographic Barbie? Yes, S tier. I promise I'm not just gonna put everything in S and A tier. 1993, we have a red and gold mixed dress and it has really fun sequins on the bodice. They almost look like, what is that red flower? Hello, past Mia, it's a poinsettia. Again, enjoy while we can the really fun blowout hair and the dress being really pinned to the back so it looks super big because that doesn't last forever, unfortunately. I wish it did. Because I'm not a absolute huge fan of the color red, these ones probably wouldn't have been as exciting for me as a kid. But nonetheless, this is a really pretty year and the dress is quite gorgeous the way it ruffles like that. And my notes are saying this was the first year that they also launched the little tree ornament that was exclusive with Hallmark. 1993 is beautiful, but it's way too similar to 1988. And for that reason, <gasps> C tier. And it's pretty. I just, it's way too similar. 1994, we have this gorgeous golden with faux fur trim. We also have a headband. And honestly, may I say, the makeup is looking different today. The blush isn't where it normally is up here. It's actually lower on the cheek. So it kind of looks like she was actually outside and her cheeks were flushed and it's cold now. I think this one's really pretty and it's quite different and grand and elegant. 1994, this one's pretty, we like it. Hey, 1995. This Barbie was not coming to play. Okay, this look is really pretty. It's a greenish teal and it's got all of these little hollies on it. The hair is swept back. This dress is almost bursting through the plastic covering. That's how puffy it is. This was a standout Barbie, I feel like. Okay, 1996, they maybe liked the Victorian style collar from the year prior because they went for a whole Victorian style look. Barbie has a hat. She's got lots of faux fur covering her neck. Apparently this year, Barbie was supposed to look like she actually could go outside and be warm enough. On the back here, it shows her in a winter wonderland. I feel like this is a really pretty Barbie dress. So I really like this burgundy velvet fabric. This one's kind of S tier too. I'll go A. Okay, 1997, this Barbie, her dress is flying off a little bit. If it flies off, I'm sorry. I actually have a lot to say about this one because this was an interesting year. Basically, the Barbies were supposed to have green eyes, but some of the boxes had misprints where the Barbie on the back had blue eyes, but then the Barbie on the front had green eyes. So the box didn't line up with the Barbie. So it was recalled, <laughs> which is so crazy because I would never notice that, honestly, never. So yeah, when I was shopping for this Barbie, some of them would be like $70 and then other ones would be $4,000. And I didn't know why, I didn't understand why, but it turns out the ones that were really expensive were the ones that had blue eyes but was in a green eyed box. So it was a recalled one. So yeah, drama in 1997. But I feel like the lace detailing really amps it up. I'm gonna go for B, it's really pretty. Okay, 1998 was a very exciting year as well. Few exciting things to note about this Barbie. She is not smiling with her teeth. The drama of it 
it all. The Holiday Barbies up until this point had always smiled with their teeth. And you might've noticed this Barbie has a full updo, the first ever updo on a Happy Holidays Barbie and a printing issue. So look at this hot pink shawl that flies all the way down. <gasps> I have one of the rarer ones. On the back, it's got more of a cloak hood style, but the actual Barbie has the long shawl. So this is really interesting because a lot of these Barbies actually have the long shawl in this photo. So it doesn't line up. I mean, I've always been a huge fan of black and pink together. So this one I think is really fun. 1999, best year ever, right? That's my birth year in case you didn't know. So this is the first holiday Barbie not to be in the Happy Holidays series. This was sort of the changeover period. This is called the Special Millennium Edition. And this was to celebrate the millennium, obviously, and it's got a little ornament. This is gonna be a controversial opinion. I feel like 1999, they could have went harder for the millennium. And that's not just because it's my birth year. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in C. Okay, year 2000s. When I, this came in the mail, I actually thought it was the other one. Maybe there was two color options, a navy and a gold. But this is actually the 2000 Barbie. So it was supposed to be more of like a New Year's celebration Barbie, I think. But yeah, she's got sequin snowflakes up her dress. I'm not gonna lie, this one doesn't wow me. <gasps> I'm sorry. I need to be honest. I think we could have done better for the year 2000. Oh, and I forgot to mention this. You're probably noticing, look at how sleek the hair is. Kind of that big 80s hair is dissipating and now Barbie's starting to get with the trend of the long slick hair. Kind of sad. I love that big fluffy hair. Year 2001, we have the holiday celebration Barbie. Okay, this is the beginning of a trend of me not being super thrilled with the dresses. I think this red and white shawl is fun. The white silver dress, I don't know. And the hair, I mean, it's plain. I mean, just sitting here roasting this Barbie. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. 2001 is probably one of my take it or leave it Barbies. I'm just not wowed. 2002, this is an exciting one for me because this is the first holiday Barbie I had. Now I was three years old. I ripped into this box as fast as I could and like, started shaking around and playing with it. So it definitely wasn't kept like a collector item. I personally think this dress is so beautiful. I love the burgundy, I love the sparkles, I love the different bodice coming to a waist with the bow. I just think this is a really pretty Barbie and I love the high ponytail. I might be a little biased because I had this one. I'm gonna go 2002s in B. Okay, so this was the Holiday Visions collection. She's actually the only Holiday Barbie in this collection because it didn't continue. Now it just became the Holiday Barbie. She looks like an ice queen for sure. The makeup is really giving. The hair is also equally giving. And the dress isn't as poofy as normal. It's actually more of an A-line. Love the puff on the sleeve. I like the full glam, fun hair, fun makeup, fun outfit. This Barbie might have the best makeup. The back is kind of bland, but that's okay. It's just blue. 2003 had a hair moment that we can't overlook by any means. But I also just am not wowed by a white dress. I don't know why. Ah, B. 2004, we have finally reached the Holiday Barbie. They were gonna really try to get this name to stick because they even had this on the box. Now this is the Holiday Barbies of years prior. So they had finally landed on, it's just gonna be Holiday Barbie. Anyways, you could get this exact same Barbie but with a red dress at Sears. Apparently this is Barbie's new face shape. And this is kind of the face shape I most recognize from my childhood. This looks like classic Barbie to me. This is a really pretty gown. You probably can't tell unless we go close up. The skirt is velvet, but then there's these beads hanging down it. And it's got a choker, it's got real lashes. This is just a really pretty. And and the blonde isn't bleach blonde. It's kind of like an orangey light blonde. This one's nice. I'm gonna go B. I think we're pretty much halfway through the Barbies. So if you're still here and still watching, thank you so much. Make sure to click the subscribe button if you'd like to see more. And we're gonna get right to it. Back to the Barbies. 
2005. This is a pretty fun dress. This one was actually designed by Bob Mackie, which if you don't know who Bob Mackie is, they're a fashion designer. It was starting to slow down a little bit, but this one really packs a punch. It's got the white with hollow glitter and then a purple sash over here, mixing in with green. There was also a serious one for this and it was in green. There's this picture of Bob Mackie on the back and the sketch of what the dream for the Barbie was. I think it's really fun. I think they should have had a new designer for each year, could have been cool. Bob Mackie did a good job, but like, it's a B. 2006, this is also designed by Bob Mackie. So two years in a row. And this one is very, very beautiful and very unique. It's got the faux fur on it and it's black with all these different colored gemstones. And we've got hair up with a long braid and glitter on the eyes. This one is one of my favorites. This is so pretty. And I just like when they do something a little bit different. It's just fun. 2007, I'm actually shocked it took this long for them to do a Santa inspired dress, but we got it. Very Santa. I think this hair is super, super cute and I like the little gloves and the box is cute. It looks like it's kind of freezing. Kind of predictable. Happy it happened, but it was predictable. Okay, in 2008, the Holiday Barbie was wearing silver and honestly kind of a sultry eye look. We have a dark lip. I like the different bodice styles, I guess. This one is a lot more dropped and then it flares out. All the other ones have been very ball gown. Now, Barbie actually starred in the Christmas Carol this year and was seen in this exact same dress. So that's a little bit of fanfare excitement to see Barbie in a movie and then she's wearing the same dress. This one's pretty, I mean, I like it. Okay, 2009 is the 50th year anniversary of Barbie and it just so happens to be my favorite holiday Barbie. Reasons why this is awesome. First of all, glam earrings, check. Pink dress, check. So there's some theories that it's a pink dress because it's a 50th year anniversary. So they went for a classic Barbie pink. And also she is glammed out. Lots of makeup on Barbie this year. She's celebrating 50th year. And she doesn't look a day over 23. <laughs> I can't believe you're 50. I'm gonna go S here. I just like this one. Okay, 2010 is another exciting one for me personally. This is what really piqued my excitement in holiday Barbies. My mom and dad got me this for Christmas and it just really wowed me at the time. This one is special to me. It really does take me back to that Christmas where I got it. And yeah, it's still really pretty. It's not a standout favorite of mine anymore looking at all the other ones, but it's still very special. 2011 Barbie. And this dress looks so beautiful. The detail on this is really nice. It's green with gold on the inside and there's all these ruffles and different drapes and ruching on the top. So 2011. 2012, we have a nice red dress. And I say a nice dress because it is nice. It's just not wowing me. No. It's 2013. It's snowflake inspired, I have a feeling. I'm not incredibly wowed by this. It's still beautiful. It's a beautiful gown. I just feel like they used to do so much with the fun hair and the big dress, and maybe that's more my style, so this would be someone else's style, but don't keep making one every year unless you have a good idea of what to make. Before, it kind of felt like they had fun ideas with it, but now it kind of feels like we have to make one every year, but we've run out of ideas. I don't know, or they're just going for a more contemporary look, and I'm misconstruing it. That, that could very well be. This one's more bland for me. D. 2014 Barbie, gold and red again. This one I would say the only unique thing is it's got kind of a fun necklace happening there. It's pretty. And I'm trying to remember 2013 and 2014. And I think this dress really would have wowed then, but I now want something else. I want something more. Okay, 2015. I like the dress line here where it kind of points in at the waist. That's pretty. I feel like I'm gonna buzz through these final dresses because honestly, for me personally, they're just not as exciting. Where's the necklace? Where's the shawl? Where's the fun headpiece? I need more. D. No. Okay, 2016, the big surprise was there was three different dress choices and they were all ombre. So I have a feeling 2016 was when the ombre craze was happening. So this is really playing into trends as well. So this is the tealish green ombre dress. And you'll also notice this is very unique packaging. It looks like a snow globe. I think it was a fun idea, but I definitely prefer the other packaging. Again, I just need a necklace or a headpiece or something. Okay, 2017, this is a unique dress. It's not a ball gown. It also has a high neckline. Oh my gosh, you know what Barbie should do? Barbie, if you're watching this, Barbie. You need a holiday Barbie and a turtleneck. 
There, I said it. And on the back here, you can see the other Barbies. I just find it fun when Barbie does something a little bit more unique. So I like the high neckline and then I like the tighter silhouette and the star that like clips onto them is very extra as well. This is a good year in my opinion. Okay, we're picking up velocity with 2018. Again, we have the pictures on the back there. Okay, fun necklace. We have a headband. We have fun hair. It's a really fluffy, nice skirt. I like how the sleeves go off the shoulder and there's a bow in the middle and then so many different ruffles down here. It's bringing the drama like it did in the 90s and that's what I want. I feel like this dress is really pretty. 2019, we have, I would personally call this the candy cane Barbie because the base of the dress looks exactly like a classic candy cane, which I'm so shocked that this took this long to have a candy cane one. The hair all goes off to one side too, which is nice. And then it gives this like asymmetry of this bow coming up on the shoulder. This is a good year as well, I feel like. 2020 Barbie has a gold metallic -y dress on and matching eyeshadow. I do like the fun cap sleeve. My biggest issue with this one is I feel like I've seen it already. It might be a lot to ask for me to feel like each and every single Barbie is very different, but that's kind of what I want. So this one just sort of blends for me. I'm just not wowed by that. 2021. This dress is so beautiful. I feel like it really pops on the deeper skin tone too. The chest piece is the most exciting part. It almost looks like armor, which is so interesting. This one's really pretty. 2022 redheads prepare to be seen. We have a redheaded Barbie. On the back, it shows all of the availables. This dress is apparently special because it was styled after a poinsettia, which is a symbol of goodwill and community spirit. So I definitely feel like that is in relation to COVID. That would be my guess. The dress really does look like a poinsettia. It has like these little petal like looking details to it. And it's obviously red. Even just on the top here, it looks like a poinsettia. And the red hair definitely really pops with the green background. I like that one a little. And last but certainly not least, we have the 35th anniversary 2023 Barbie. And I am sad to report that it's not my favorite. <laughs> we have a little shawl thing happening on the top, which I actually want to take off because I don't like how it covers the dress. I wish it was open a little more. It's a shimmery gold. It's got a tulle. I'm just tired of the gold. It's nice. Don't get me wrong. Every single one of these holiday Barbies is wearing a beautiful gown. It's just, I feel like I've seen this one before. 2023, it was sad. Okay, this is my professional rating system. Best here. 1990, 92, 95, and then 2009. These ones are so pretty. Honestly, any A could be moved into S in my opinion. See, I consider the Bs all really nice. Cs, I'm getting bored a little, but there's still some fun flares. D tier, honestly, I don't think they needed to exist completely. <laughs> That was so rude. They're still nice. It just needs a little more va va boom, in my opinion. And what does my opinion matter, right? Who am I even? Just remember that. My favorites are definitely 2009 Barbie and 1990 Barbie, which they're both in pink, so not a coincidence. I really hope you guys enjoyed this trip down holiday Barbies. I know it was very extra and probably a little bit chaotic for me to do this, but it was so much fun. I had a great time, I hope you did too. Also, don't forget, if you want to do good by your wallet this holiday season and pick up some gifts off ThreadUp. You can use code CHEER for 40% off and free shipping on your first order and also get an extra $15 off when you check out with Afterpay. And with all of that, I will take my Barbies that I've hoarded and I will go. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.